in a word, it's horrible. I mean, even Donald Trump was upset that Georgia reopened early. And that's, that's saying something. My name is Anurag Sahu, and I'm a cardiologist at Emory Healthcare. And my two main roles are taking care of cardiac patients in the intensive care unit and taking care of adults with complex heart conditions. Um, in terms of what I've seen with COVID, it has been both surreal and uh, unexpected. I didn't think I'd take care of a lot of patients with, with COVID but it became evident very early on that our medical ICUs were gonna fill up very quickly. And so they asked for volunteers to take care of COVID patients and I volunteered. What we saw initially or what I saw initially was the, that those patients were violently ill and they would have extreme ups and downs in terms of how they would do. And there are a lot of times that where we thought patients were getting better and seemed to be getting ready to even leave the intensive care unit. And then they would just suddenly die. And that was hard. And I think what was harder is I would come home and we didn't know a lot about this virus and how people got it, at least initially. Um, and I would take long, hot showers, just trying to magically wash away whatever virus may have been on me. So I didn't want my kids, my wife, anyone I knew to catch it. Working at a hospital in the pandemic has been nothing like I've experienced in the last nine or 10 years. Um, you know, as a doctor, we're all used to dealing with crisis. I think every one of us has had patients that were in acute crisis or days where um, the hospital was really busy. But what's been unique about this is just the prolonged stretch of how busy we've all been. What for me was unexpected was the inadequacy of the federal response. You had public health officials and physicians telling people to take this thing seriously. And then we had politicians, Senator Loeffler in particular, telling everyone that everything was gonna be fine. And that just didn't match up what we were seeing on the ground. We had hundreds of people dying every day in this country. And we had Senator Loeffler and the president and others telling us that this was not a serious illness. Governor Kemp's been in office for, I think, a little bit more than two years. Even if we had expanded Medicaid at that time, half a million Georgians would have been at a better state dealing with a possible COVID infection than they are now. We have spent a billion dollars since the COVID crisis struck Georgia, just on a state level, not a federal level. We've spent a billion dollars. Had we spent $150 million before COVID, we could have insured half a million people and I'm certain lives would have been saved. I'm supporting Reverend Warnock because he understands that it's important to believe science, that it's important to believe public health officials and that it's important to put politics aside in the middle of a pandemic.